but I'm not strong. Not like you. Forgive me. Mother. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another night of One Life, One Death. So last night, we did clear out Halted Stream Camp of all the bandits. And then after perusing inside Halted Stream Camp, I did decide to make this my home away from home. And the reason being is because I did discover a tanning rack and a forge, as well as a grinding stone. And it did quite wonderfully come with two bear traps instead of the one at Red Aran's retreat, which makes it that much better to defend. So, unfortunately, I did uh, make the trek all the way over here with all my gear. And it did, unfortunately, make me quite exhausted as you can see right here my stamina is quite low and it's not regenerating because we are unfortunately at stage four painful thirst so tonight is another night of hunting and gathering for blood in order to bring me down to stage one once again luckily though luckily not all is lost on the stamina front i do have two potions of stamina which will regenerate little bit not too much but enough to where i think it can get a few swings off before i run out of uh that stamina there i'm not too worried mind you I, again i am a vampire and i can still swing my axe around even if i don't have stamina so i'm not too worried too worried i mean this could be the night i i, I die here because i don't really have the stamina to um maintain uh, combat. Anyways, these are the two bear traps here that I was talking about. I did kind of set them up. So the idea is when the enemy does come down here, bandits or whoever comes down here, they'll hit the two bear traps and they'll take extra damage there. So these help out quite nicely. I'll leave those off for now. I don't sus... What was that? I don't suspect much to happen between here and the next bandit camp. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to, you know, cut the footage. And then when we get back, we'll be at the next bandit camp, which should be, which shouldn't take too long. So I'll see you in a second. All right. So that was pretty quick. Like I said, just, it was literally over the next ridge. So there's those two bandits over there. I can see their little campfire going. And what we have here to do some opening damage, we have our wooden light crossbow, which I never leave home without. Actually, do I? I still have the bolts, but I didn't bring any arrows. Uh, okay, let's get the arrows. All right, so I do have my arrows now. I did go back and get them, so we should be pretty much ready to go with no real delays. Oh, what's that flashing? I think that's just like the model popping in there and for whatever reason it starts to flash so because i am at painful thirst that does mean i will not be able to regenerate my stamina naturally the only way to do so is to get that blood now unfortunately that does mean i have to get into combat in order to get that blood so i'm gonna have to be extra cautious here and uh, create some sort of strategy i would think the most prudent strategy because there is that ridge above so I think what I'll do is I'll actually maybe, which way, which direction should I go? I'm going to go up and around, and then I'm going to use this as a sort of sniping area and snipe down. Because that guy looks like he's just going back and forth on patrol. And I think that would be a very good angle of attack. Because I can just shoot him in the back, and then I'll have all that sort of distance between me and him. So I can just sort of prepare and hide behind um rocks if he has range just to close that gap as much as possible there so i think that will be the strategy is just just to work my way around him and get that vantage point it will be kind of a slow go this night oh shite okay maybe not a slow go i am still very dirty i need to find a, a bathroom at some point to clean up and by bathroom, I do mean a pile of water from which I can bathe in. Oh, that kind of scared me, though, that little wolf. Maybe I should just keep my battle axe 
handy just in case. Uh, I am hoping there will be no saber cats. Actually, I should look <laughs> keep an eye out for saber cats. If you do get swiped once by a saber cat, they do have a tenacity to um, just like knock you around and and ragdoll you. And once that happens, it's pretty much over for any character because you can't. Uh, recover fast enough to get away from the saber cat i'd say they're more dangerous than the giants at that point probably the most dangerous enemy in the game especially early on is the saber cats but anyways you can kind of see over there that guy's just gathering firewood so that's perfect so we can use this ridge as our vantage point here and then snipe him from the back yeah this will work quite nicely I'll have to time it. I can't really just hold on to like um the aim down button as it were because that will use up my stamina. So once I'm ready to fire, I gotta fire right away. That will also be the strategy. So we're coming up on my ridge that I'm interested. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, that's just me walking on stone. I thought something was sneaking up on me. Oh, now it's drawing terrain. That's not good. I mean, it could be actually quite beneficial if I was going up against fire users. Because if you are drenched and covered in... Oh, I can level up, I think. Oh, yeah. Let's put that more into health. There you go. It, oh, yeah, very obvious, very good. So if you are actually drenched, you will actually gain a 50% resistance to fire, but become 50% more vulnerable to lightning, electrical damage. So that's actually pretty good versus fire mages, especially as a vampire, because you need all the support you can get. Oh my goodness, it's actually getting quite dark now. I can barely see. It's quite dark. Hopefully, everyone can see. Uh, <laughs> okay, so there's that guy. Where is he? Didn't they used to have a horse here? No? I guess uh, Mr. Harry must have decided it was too overpowered to have it so available. And I think he might have just gotten rid of that horse. I could be wrong, though. Maybe it's dead. Okay, so there he is right there. Oh, this is perfect. Ooh, I got him in one hit. Oh, that's wonderful. That's absolutely bloody wonderful. Oh, is there another guy chasing after me? No. There's somebody down there. He can hear me walking around up here, but he's not really keen enough on where I am, it seems. Oh, he's just saying back off. Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that there, Sunny Jim. I need your lovely, lovely blood. Oh, the horse is right there. Okay. So I might be able to get a free horse out of this. I need all the support I can get. So if he's like just down there. Sounds like it's just like right under the rock here. And it does sound like to me, based off of like the sound effect, that he does not have a ranged weapon. So that could work to my advantage. So I can actually target him from a distance. Or actually, no, let's get the blood first from our uh, friend over there. That way we can start regenerating our stamina naturally without worry. Because this guy's given us, us a chance, which will be uh, his mistake in the long run. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, he's pretty lightly armored. With a, it looks like a steel sword and uh, an imperial shield. 
not too worried about him. Just going to avoid him right now. And then go after his friend here. There we go. Wonderful. Take those septums. Now we should start regenerating our stamina quite naturally. Alright, here we go. Let's have a little fight. Ooh, blocked it. There we go. That was pretty easy. I wasn't expecting too much of a struggle, like I said. But yeah, another camp cleared somewhat. Let's just check out what we've got here. Got some death bell. I use that for potions, or actually poisons, I should say. Skuma, very good. I can take that and maybe sell it one of these days. One of these days, I'll get into uh, buying and selling items if 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 possible. We'll see. Looks like there's really nothing here for me. Salt. Vampires don't really get into cooking that much. We're mostly into the blood. Potato. It's unfortunate. I kind of wish um, vampires could make use of the cooking more, but it is what it is. I could take these uh, iron pots, though, and one of these days, if I do come across a smelter, I can smelt them down for iron ingots. Uh, oh, that's good. Yeah, I'll take some of that. Take some of that as well. Uh, actually, I do need this. And the reason why I do need this, because I'll empty it of the contents, make glass bottles out of them, and then break them down again on a smelter to make building, um, building glass material, which you need in order to make blood conserving files so actually all this is absolutely critical for the future of my vampire playthrough because I can empty these and make uh, the material I need I can actually do it right now let's see crafting ledger yeah empty bottles yeah good 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 and I'm actually increasing my smithing by doing this so it's not it's it's not a waste of time at all. It's actually very, very beneficial. Oh, yeah. They were uh, hoarding quite a bit of ale here. My goodness, yeah. Wish I had a torch, though. It's all burnt out, unfortunately. Lavender. What else do we got here? I think that's about it. Okay, so I can't open up that lock, unfortunately. Oh, oh shit. Oh, 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 oh. Oh god. Oh. Okay, that doesn't sound like a crossbow. Sounds like just an arrow. I'm dodging them pretty good, though. <laughs> Remember, if you're going up against arrow users, you want a serpentine, never walk in a straight line. So there are bandits in our midst. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Um, okay. I need a rock to hide behind. Because I don't want to use that range. I am very dirty. I don't want them to use that range to their advantage. I want them to close the distance as much as possible. So I can run in there with my axe and one shot them. If I, Assuming I can see them. Okay, there's a guy over there to my left. It looks like he's stuck. Okay, I can use that to my advantage. Okay. Okay. 
Just gonna slowly... Oh, lured. Okay, there we go. Okay, he's just a level 3, but he still has a two-hander. Okay, because he's stuck, I'm gonna use that to my advantage there. Okay. Can't block my bolts, can ya? There we go. Maybe save the bolts now. Nope. No. No submit. You just give me the blood. Okay, um... There was one other guy. He did have the arrows. I did hear him. Is that him over there? It's so hard to see. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just see what this guy has. Um... Okay, bolts. Blood. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll leave that there. And I'll save this blood right here. Just in case if I do take damage, I can always just heal up by coming back up here. So I'll leave that there for now. Where is that other guy? Oh, I heard him. Arguably a little bit more dangerous than his fellow melee users, because he can just peg me at range. So I have to be a little bit cautious. I don't want to just throw my body at him. If I can avoid it. Maybe let's get an Imperial Bow now, because I am... I am a little bit closer, so I don't have to necessarily worry about arcing my shot so much. Okay, where is he? Okay. Oh, he's level 19. Oh, and he looks like he's ready for me. Yeah, that's, yeah. See, that was quite a big chunk of my health. Oh, another big chunk. Got him. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing I left the blood up there. It's the only way I can really heal right now. <laughs> is by constantly pursuing blood. Uh, okay. Where's my weight at? He had a pretty good bow. It kind of looked like an ebony from a distance, but that can't be it. Ebony at such a low level would be a godsend. I do get a free horse out of this, so... Let's bring you... No, it's just a simple wooden bow. Oh, well, it's not ebony, but <laughs> it's almost as good. Oh, and he has... Oh, my goodness. That will be absolutely wonderful when I really start getting to the alchemy game. Wow, he did have very nice gear. Very nice gear. Wow. What a steal. Take all that for me. Should I take the blood or should I leave it? I might want to leave it. Definitely take this though. And this. Take the strips. Wow. Very good gear there. Very good gear. Alright, so the night is actually not young at all. It's 4 a.m. I gotta go back to Redoran. Oh, sorry, Redoran. Halted uh, stream camp. I'm gonna take as much gear as I can so it's not just gonna despawn and go to waste. Should I take the blood or leave it? Okay, let's uh, try to go up there. I only have an hour. I think I can make it. Yeah, it's not that far away. I should be able to make it just fine. Let's get the rest of the gear and then head back.
Where is it? Oh, come on, get up there. I don't have a lot of time. Uh, let's see, take that, take that. I fit that? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, let's see, iron greatsword. Let's drop those iron gauntlets. And the helmet. And that should be good enough. Oop. There we go. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that will be it for this night. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you like videos like these and want to see... Oh, hold on. I forgot. The horse. Of course. The horse, of course. Let's go. All right. Now, we actually have a horse now. So, I don't really have to worry about travel distance too much, which is absolutely essential. Especially if I'm going to uh, start leaving the nest, as it were. I think all this sort of general area is all tapped out of bandits, at least close, close by. So it's an absolutely wonderful thing that we did get a free horse out of this um, altercation with the bandits over there. So again, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you like to watch videos like these and want to see more videos like them, be sure to like and subscribe. If not, I understand. So I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.